She has stood up for others since the time she could stand and spoken for those who could not speak for themselves. Born Frederica Smith in 1942 Overtown, she grew up in Liberty City, her mom a homemaker, her dad a businessman and civil rights activist. Frederica getting the best from both, a head for solving problems and a heart for helping others. Young Freddie excelled in school, first at Liberty City Elementary as student council president, then at Dorsey Junior High, tapped for the National Junior Honor Society and falling in love, the puppy kind, with her assistant principal, Dr. Earl Wells. They would both move on to Northwestern Senior High, Frederica Smith, no longer in love, but in great admiration for her lifelong mentor, the two close friends to this day. She was a standout in high school, wearing many hats. Honor student, senior class secretary, literary editor, drama student, future teacher of America. 1959 graduation took her to Fisk University, launching ground for the Freedom Riders, Frederica itching to get on the bus and to sit in at the diners, her dad urging her to stand down, scared she could never stand silent in the face of certain brutality, reminding her she had a different calling, to bring power to the powerless through the power of education. She returned to Miami for a master's in education, landing her first teaching assignment at Lily C. Evans Elementary before leaving to raise her family. Her schoolgirl crush, Dr. Earl Wells, calling her back to school years later, this time as an assistant principal at Scott Lake Elementary. Her years at Skyway Elementary would prove pivotal. Principal Wilson, now widowed with two girls and a boy, determined to help her struggling male students, many without fathers, in turning their lives around. Skyway gaining national notice as a model for serving all students. But for Frederica Wilson, academic success was just one part of student success. When a composting plant opened near the school, filling classrooms and nearby homes with noxious fumes, she rallied students and citizens to shut the plant down. Though she and her family were threatened, she pressed on and prevailed, giving her students a new sense of the possible, gaining the same for herself, winning a seat on the Dade County School Board in 1992 in her first bid for public office. She served through 1998, leading the board to infuse African-American history in the curriculum and to create a program for at-risk boys, like those she'd helped at Skyway, pairing them with successful black men as mentors. Known now as 5,000 Role Models of Excellence, the initiative awarding more than $5 million in scholarships, helping more than 6,000 young men turn their lives around, and earning presidential honors as a teaching example for the nation. Moved in part to take the program statewide, school board member Wilson won a seat in the Florida House of Representatives, her father by her side as she was sworn in. She served two House terms before moving to the Senate, serving as Minority Leader Pro Tem and Minority Lead Whip, becoming known as the Conscious of the Senate a champion for social and economic justice. When a congressional seat came open, she threw her hat in the ring, her consensus building skills, helping her break Washington's gridlock as co-chair of a bipartisan caucus to improve Florida's seaports in gaining temporary protected status for Haitian nationals and in passing the Rillia Wilson Act, requiring prompt reporting by states of children gone missing while in foster care. Always a voice for the voiceless, at times speaking the loudest in silence. A woman of many hats, mother and activist, educator and role model, local, state and federal lawmaker, Miami-Dade County Public Schools alumna. Forever reaching back to pull others forward, forever reaching down to help others rise.